My name is Tyler Van Leer. I'm the fire marshal for the City of Mobile Fire Department. This is my canine partner, Canine Hansel, and we won the law enforcement and detection category for the American Humane Hero Dog Awards. Hansel and four other pit bulls were relocated from Ontario to a shelter in Florida called Dogs Plan for Life, where they started their journey to better things. We find misunderstood dogs and give them a new purpose in life by placing them in law enforcement jobs. We took five dogs back from Florida that came from the Ontario 21. We did a meet and greet, and the moment Hansel came out of the vehicle and he came around the back of the vehicle and we met eyes, it was an instant bond from day one. It's silly to say, but I felt it. And the way he was smiling and the way he was just prancing around with his tail wagging, we knew it was gonna work out. We started the uh, Canine Academy at the New Jersey Police Canine Association a couple weeks later. And we graduated January 17th of 2020. And we've been on the streets serving the citizens of Millville ever since. And we have seen a decrease in intentionally set fires because of him. Hansel is the first of his kind. He's the first pit bull in the country certified in accelerant detection. He's literally like the Energizer Bunny. And I knew that I could put him through some difficult situations and he would work them out and he wouldn't give up on me. He focuses, he puts his nose right to the ground and he is, he's searching before I even tell him to search. He pulls me and he looks at me like, hey dad, there's, there's, there's something here. Let's, and he's, he's looking and you can truly tell that he loves doing what he does. He's smiling from ear to ear, and it's, it's the greatest thing. He's able to process a scene that will take um, a human being either a day or two. Hansel's able to process that scene in minutes. He's able to take everything in, figure out the problem, and able to pinpoint exactly where that odor is coming from. He makes the workday a lot better, makes it go smoother. He puts a smile on a lot of people's faces. Hansel's able to flick that switch from going to work and then, okay, it's time to be social. He comes in with his ball or his Kong and he just wants to play. And I think for the EMS side, when, they, when the EMTs have a rough call, they come back and they see K9 Hansel smiling and they're coming back to something positive, to a dog that loves them and you can feel that. When kids meet K9 Hansel, I think they, they want to either become a firefighter when they grow up or they want to do some kind of canine work when they grow up. So hopefully they, they take that home and say to their mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, whoever they live with, hey, I saw a fire dog who was a pit bull. He shows everybody that pit bulls can do a job that nobody knew of. Who knew that a pit bull could do accelerant detection? Now there are other accelerant detection dogs, but he is the first pit bull. And when Hansel entered that field, it really turned the heads of many different fire departments, police departments, and other organizations across the country. A fire we had recently in Millville led to four arrests. It was a proud dad moment. He was the only dog to indicate and actually have the scientific backing by a lab to show that his indication was correct. He makes such a great partnership because we are the same. Even though he's a dog and I'm a human, it, it might sound silly, but the connection is there. You never judge a book by its cover. Always give the dog a chance. But Hansel being a pit bull, he was overlooked. And now look at him. He is thriving. He was gonna be euthanized just because of the way he looked. They weren't even gonna give him a chance. So he's a hero for that. Because after all of that hate, after all of that sad, horrific times, he still has a smile on his face with a wrinkly forehead. And he is enjoying life now. And that's all I care about.